I'm with this business is mission. Yo, hello. It's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a nebula skull visualizer and if you guys want to support me I have a website called editingvisuals.com where you can get some editing packs made by me which can help you improve your editing and make it much more efficient. Let's get right into this tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a solid layer here. I've already made a black solid layer here, but you're going to do that. Uh, my composition setting uh, for this is FHD with 24 FPS. If you guys want to use the same. And now we're going to be adding element 3D just like that. And then we're going to go to scene setup. And here we're going to import a 3D skull model, which is going to be linked in the description. So you guys can go and download that and then import it. So when you have imported the skull, it should look something like this here orientation tab here and changing it to 90 degrees so it's facing forward and then we're going to go to presets physical and then choose chrome so you get a reflection on the skull here and after that you're going to press mesh view open this skull up here so now we get all the skull parts here and we're going to right click on the teeth lower go to auxiliary animation and set it to channel one and then we're going to do the same thing with the jaw here so you're going to right click auxiliary animation but here we're going to set it to channel 2 instead so after we have done that we're going to press ok up here and now we're going to be animating the skull here so you're going to open up group 1 you can open up a particle look and you can start off by setting the particle size to 97.5 so we get a close up of the skull here and we're going to start off by animating the jaw here so you're going to be opening up the layer here solid effects element group 1 Particle look, AUX channels, one and two. Rotation here. So we're going to start off by keyframing the X rotation here. So you're going to press the clock here, set it at zero in the beginning. Then we're going to go to two seconds. And here we basically want the jaw to open. Set it to 30 degrees here, something like that. And then go four seconds and set it to zero. And then go to the ending of your animation, six seconds, and set it back to 30. So now the jaw looks something like this here. Mark them and press F9 so it becomes a little bit more smoother. And then we're going to animate the lower teeth now, which is at channel 1. You're going to be opening up the rotation here. And here we're going to keyframe the X rotation as well. So press the clock here. Then go to 2 seconds. And here set it to 31. Then go to 4 seconds. Set it to 0. And then 6 seconds and set it to 31. Again, so now it looks something like this. It's pretty weird uh, so we're going to fix the position of the teeth here so you're going to open up position here and we're going to keyframe the position as well so we're going to keyframe y and z position here so press the clock here in the beginning go to two seconds and here we're going to set the y position to minus 0 0.01 set rotation to the same so minus 0 0.01 so now it looks a little bit more realistic. Go to 4 seconds, set it to 0, and then you can copy the keyframes from 2 seconds and set it at 6 seconds, just like that. After that, to make it more smoother, mark all the keyframes and press F9. So now we're going to make the skull spinning. So you're going to go up here, open up particle replicator, rotation, and here on the Y rotation, you're going to hold Alt and press the clock here. And here you're going to type time store key 150. After that, you're going to go down to render settings. And here go to AMB ambient occlusion, enable AO, increase the SSAO intensity to 50 to get some more shadows to this skull here. Then you can go down to output and increase the quality of the 3D model here. So multi sampling to 32 and super sampling to 8. So now it's going to be at a very high quality here. And now we want to have a cool angle to this skull here. So it's going to be adding a camera layer here. New camera. Okay. And I'm going to open this up. Transform. I have a pretty clean position for the skull. So I'm going to type that in. Minus 4042.7 on the X position. 2188.1 on the Y position. Then minus 837. 0.2 on the Z position. So now it's going to look something like this here. You're going to go up to solid and here open up particle rotation and set the Y rotation here to 81. So it's going to start in front of us. Now you have a pretty cool angle skull here. And you don't need to use my camera settings here. You can just, you know, mess around, use the tools here, go around like this and 
try to get a cool angle. Now we're going to be making the background layer so you can uh, make the skull invisible and uh, make a solid layer here. And here we're going to be adding fractal noise. I'm going to set the fractal type to turbulent sharp and then increase the contrast to 146. And from there press invert. And then you're going to hold alt, press the clock here on evolution, type time store key 250. So it's going to be automatically animated like this. Looks pretty cool. Now we're going to make the CC for this. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y to make a adjustment layer. And here we're going to be adding flicker. And here I'm going to use the default settings. After that I'm going to be adding motion detect. Which gives us a insanely cool look on the skull here. But I'm going to fix the settings a little bit. So I'm going to change the delay frames to 2. And set the motion to darker. And the combine to subtract. And that should be good. After that, we're going to be adding a four color gradient. And here we're going to go with a pretty, pretty dark blue or purple like this here. Copy this to all of the other color positions, just like that. And here, set the blending mode to soft light. So it looks something like this. After that, add deep glow. Set the radius to around 800 and the exposure to 1.28. Drag on the threshold to 15% and check smooth blending. And after that, we're going to be adding vignette. Set the angle of view to 33. That should be good. Now we're going to be making a adjustment there again. So Control Alt Y, and here we're going to be adding vignette again, just like that. And here we can use the default settings. So now the Nebula Skull version is done here. And I have a bonus version for you guys. You're going to be making a new adjustment layer. Control Alt Y. And here, set this one below the vignette layer. And this is my effect from my TV glitch pack. So if you have the TV glitch pack, add TV glitch effect 9 to this. And it's going to look something like this here. Like a lava version here. Almost looks like the skull is melting. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys have my pack, you can make a pretty cool look here too. A bonus look here. So yeah, this is how the Nebula Skull looks like. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. Don't forget to check out my socials and join my Discord server. Uh, it's all linked down below. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.